Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the double crochet and the half double crochet. I am not going to show you how to do the foundation chain. I will link that video below um, just to save on time because, you know, anyway, I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible. Hopefully we get good angles and my camera focuses. <laughs> um, anyway, so here we go. All right, so to begin with double crochet, um, I'm going to be doing... 10 double crochet on my chain so i have chained 12 stitches because the double crochet is approximately two chains in height um and so those extra two will um act as our first stitch does that make sense um all right so to begin what we're gonna do is we're going to yarn over our hook to begin and then we're going to crochet into the third chain from our hook okay so one two and then three back loop only we're going to pull up a loop and now we have three loops on our hook all right we're going to yarn over turn it down so we don't catch on any of them and we're going to pull it through two of these loops okay leaving us with two more the one we just pulled through and the very last one the beginning loop and then we're going to yarn over hook again and loop through the last two and that is your first double crochet now we're going to try that again yarn over we're going to go into the very next stitch okay pull up a loop three on our hook again yarn over pull down go through two yarn over go through the final two all right and again yarn over pull up loop go through two go through two that's three i'm going to finish off this chain and then show you what we've got All right, so here we have our double crochet. Much, much taller, and you can see there's a lot more of a gap between the stitches, so it makes it a little more whole, holy, whole-filled. <laughs> um, and that's totally normal. That's how it's supposed to be. This way, generally, in patterns like stuffed animals and things like that that you don't want a lot of holes, you won't see a lot of double crochet because it leaves holes like this. Um, but it's really, really pretty for um, blankets and things like that, and it works up a lot faster. So as you can see here, maybe, we've got one, two, and then one, two. And then, of course, the beautiful chain braid up here, and the braid down here. All right, and that is double crochet. Okay, so now we're gonna do a half double crochet. I'm just using the row of double crochet that we just did so I can show you the difference in height. I have chained two and turned my work. This way we get the same height and we don't have to skip a stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over hook. I'm gonna go through this very first stitch here, pull up a loop. And then instead of pulling it through only two, I'm going to yarn over hook, turn down, and pull through all three. And that is your first half double crochet. All right, so one more time. Yarn over hook, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, and go through all three. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and go through all three. So I'm gonna finish this row and then I will show you um, the difference in height.
All right, so as of as always, we have that beautiful braid on top. Remember, this is double crochet right here, and then this is half double. You can see it's a lot shorter. You can see all three of the um, loops that we had on our hook, but it's not as holy, hole filled. It sounds weird saying holy, <laughs> full of holes. There's not as many holes on it. Um, so that was our half double crochet and double crochet tutorial. I hope you learned something as always, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you worked along with me or are working on something, I would love to see pictures. So you can go to my Facebook page, which will be linked below, and post pictures of your projects or your practice. I'd love to see it. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will try to address them. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye guys!